What is up, guys? Welcome on back to TK's Garage. We still don't have the Green Monster. What's up guys welcome on back to TK's garage and welcome on back to another video it's an update on the green monster um, as of 10 40 a.m. Uh, today which would be what Tuesday the auction was yesterday we still do not have an approval yet from USAA on the bid and I hate to say this guys I really do but you know we'll know by six o'clock today sometime this evening if they accept the bid or not but if they don't accept the bid this time I'm, I'm done I give up man and you know what I'm gonna be honest you know USA is kind of fucking themselves here because um, if I you know I won both weeks in a row right so last week at 19,700 this week at like 20 what was it 22 4 right um, if I wasn't bidding on it you know Tennessee had dropped out the broker Ali from Tennessee had already dropped out for his client back at like 20,000 right and the only other person was a, was the guy from Wisconsin right which by the way other people that are bidding on this car have literally hit me up and they were like this is crazy you know like we've never seen this before not just that making it where I can't bid on my own car even with my personal account that's kind of that's kind of a dick move I, I'm gonna be honest with you. That's kind of like, that's kind of that's some shit, if you ask me. I've never had that, but I've never had a car like I get it if they say, oh, this is a dealer only car with my personal account, right? Now I have a business account with Copart, and I have a personal account. Now I have not bid on my car with the business account because I don't want my account to get slapped with whatever the hell they're doing on my personal account now, trying to bid on my car. Now, is this an issue with? Uh, Copart directly? No. I guarantee you, it's USAA saying, we, we cannot sell him back this car, or we don't want him to have this car, or we need to we, we're not accepting any bids from him so Copart just removed it. Because you could see I had clearly bid on it, and then it said, no bids. Like they had removed it, and they removed my ability to bid on it. Like it was almost like they pulled away my, my buying power just for that car. So you know, talking to somebody at Copart about it, they said, yeah, look, this is nothing, you know, with us against you or nothing. This is just literally USAA on that specific car freezing you out. I didn't even know that was a possibility. I didn't even know they could do that. If an insurance company doesn't want you to bid on a car, they can make it where you can't if they know your account. And because I did bid on it, um, I guess they know, right? Or they, or they contacted somebody at Copart and they let them know like, yeah, this is his personal account. Luckily, they don't know the business account. So, but it's kind of irrelevant at this point, right? I'm at a point with this thing now where I'm just kind of like, fuck it. You know, I, I'm, and I apologize for the language, but I'm honest. I'm done. I give up, man. You know, you guys really want me to win it. <clears throat> and I respect that. And I wanted it too, man. I really want to win the car, man. I really, really, really do. I want to win the car so bad. I would love to load that son of a bitch up and take it to Las Vegas. I, I'm telling you now, I wanted the car. I really did. But where I'm at with it, I'm kind of like, maybe it's a blessing. It even shows in the listing now how much the repair cost is. But that repair cost is deceptive. I think it said it's like $12,000 to repair. That's just for the interior. That doesn't count all the paint work and body work that needs to be redone. And the undercarriage damage. Like, this is what I don't get from USAA. This is what I don't understand, right? You call, you, you physically called me and offered me the car for 25, right? I already told you that's too much because of what needs to be done with it. And I offered you, um, I forget what it was. I, I didn't want to, I didn't want to take 20. I, I, initially, I did offer them 25. And then when they called back to be like, hey, we'll pull it. We'll give it to you for 25. I was like, nah. You know, negotiation tactic. Nah, I'm good. You know? And 
now looking at where it is, what the repair costs and stuff are going to be for that car, the market, as far as that those cars go, somewhat normalizing. Scat packs ain't going like that now. They're not. I mean, you can look across Copart and IA and other ones that are selling, right? And it's crazy because this car has the undercarriage damage because it is missing all of that interior, all of those airbags, all of those modules. People don't want to bid on the car. They're looking at, well, shit, seats are going to be this, this, and a dealer. Let me explain like the very small niche that wants to bid on this car now. It's somebody that wanted to make it a track car, take it to the racetrack, don't care what the title is. Dealers are looking like, well, damn, I can't really get retail on it unless I get somebody that's got ultra fucked up credit and I can finesse them out of their pockets and repo the car and sell it to somebody else. That's, I'm going to be honest, that's what a dealer is looking at. A dealer is like, I can't sell that car and make money because they're like, shit, it's got one seat. I can't sell the car until I know it's got seat belts and airbags working properly, unless I want to lose my license. So they got to do all of that shit. Plus, you know, the interior, they're looking at like 15 grand, right? So if the car sells, let's just say the car did sell for 20 and USAA let it go. And you're looking at 15 grand or whatever, that's before, and that's if you have your own person to do the installation, right? You, that's not even including labor, right? So you're looking at 15 grand, you're at 35,000. A brand new fucking scat pack, spec'd out, built like mine, is selling right now on Dodge's website for 42. Why the, he why the hell would somebody buy a salvage title car for what they could buy a new one for? Because the dealer would have to make some money. So dealers are out, right? Dealers don't want to buy it, it's too much shit. All right, a personal individual or a YouTuber, <clears throat> which is what's going on with the guy. I, I spoke with a guy in Wisconsin said he was bidding on it, and that's the Milwaukee account. Um, the guy in Wisconsin bid on it, and um, you know he's a YouTuber, and he's like, "Yeah, I, I would like to do YouTube videos and stuff with that car." You know, and he's like, "I just wanted to let you know that it's me that's bidding on it." Da, da, da. I was like, "Oh, cool, man. Good luck. You know, I'm not, I'm not chirping. More power to you. I hope you know. This week, I'm out." If they don't give it to me, I'm out. I hope the guy in Wisconsin wins the car. I do. Or maybe Ali in Tennessee. One of you guys can win it and enjoy the car. You have my blessing. Do what you want with it. But all I would say is just don't overpay for it. Make them son of a bitches pay to run that car through the auction every freaking week. Make them pay every week. So what they're losing so much money and running it through the auction. And the car consistently gets worse because it's sitting there. Because here's the other thing, you know, a lot of people don't know, like I've run E85 in that car. <laughs> um, actually, when we t when we turned it in at Copart, you know, when I brought it to Copart, it did have the E85 tune on it. So let me explain a little bit about. I, I I think you guys know what happens when you just leave E85 in the tank for a while, right? Yeah, condensation and water. So a lot of people were asking like what the motor problems and stuff were with the car and it's just running like crap. Not to mention it probably has a, a bearing that might be going bad in the bottom end. Um, that's not terrible. Like people are like, oh my God, it's got motor problems. Da, da, da. Somebody that's halfway competent can just knock that out. You know, it's not, it's not that serious, but it's not something you're just going to buy and drive on the road every day as a daily driver. That's the other reason why people ain't bidding on the car. And this is why I said, you know, I made it very clear that, you know, I wanted it, but I wouldn't overpay for it. And I think USA is now seeing like, oh shit, we're going to, we're going to hold the 30,000 or $40,000 L on this car because look, I'm out. If they don't approve this bid today, I'm out. What does that mean? I'll tell you what that means. That means somebody, the dude from Wisconsin or Ali from Tennessee, maybe you guys can get together and, um, you know, being that you both do YouTube and, and maybe you guys can come to some kind of agreement where you guys split it or something. And, Cause you guys are the only other ones outside of me that was bidding uh, big money on the car. I'd say big money, uh, like over 20 grand for the car, right? So you guys can get together and do that and get some videos in on the car for both of your YouTube channels. And then you guys can sell it, make your profit, and you guys can come to an agreement that you guys don't don't overbid like 17, 18 grand and make USAA eat bags of dicks every week, every friggin' week until they give that car away because they don't have a choice. Now, I have a feeling, uh, you know, the representative, the person that I spoke to at Copart was like, USAA is probably going to move that car. 
Um, you know, if it doesn't, if they don't give it to me this week and it, I'm not going to bid on it next week and somebody else bids on it and it goes for even less, they're going to move the car. And I'm like, well, where are they going to move it to? And he was like, oh, they could just move it to another yard. But then you got to think about this. You move it to, where are you going to move it to? Dunn? You're going to move it to Raleigh? Nobody cares. The people that look at the cars in Raleigh are looking at the cars in Lumberton. That's not going to help you. So where are you, where are you going to send it? You're going to send it to Florida? You're going to send it somewhere else? Good. Incur another $1,200 cost to transport the car. Take another L on top of all the listing fees instead of you just selling the damn car. Stupid. But USA is in the business of making bad decisions when it comes to, you know, customers' cars and things of that nature. I mean, you saw what they, the wonderful company they partnered with in Collision Works that destroyed my car in the first place. But I'll leave that for another video. Uh, update video on that. There's actually a docket number and stuff now. My attorney has gone ahead and got everything put together. And um, I should have some news for you guys on that coming here really soon. And yes, I'm going for the pockets. I, I need my money, man. You, you damaged my you damaged my, uh, my brand, my image with this Mickey Mouse bullshit that y'all did to my car. So there will be an update video for you guys coming on that. But anyways, that's where I'm at with the Green Monster, man. Uh, as of 10.51 a.m., and, I, and I'll check it again real quick. Let me just check real quick because, you know, someone will say, Oh, TK, you didn't really check. You don't really know. If uh, if you won the car or lost the car or whatever, <coughs> so we'll look. Negative Ghost Rider, still pending. So at 10:52 a.m. it's still pending. We'll see what happens, man. I don't think they're gonna approve it, and at that point, I'm out. I'm done. I give up, man. Y'all want y'all y'all little y'all little bitch ass trolls can celebrate, say what y'all want. I don't care. I put my effort in, and I and for the ones that really want me to win it back, look, man. I put so much time and effort. I'm supposed to be gone already. I'm not even supposed to still be here. I'm just, listen, I cut, I had to come back. <laughs> I had to fly back just to deal with this car. I'm supposed to be in Vegas now. I'm not even supposed to be here, all right? I'm literally here for the car. That's it. So this, this thing, just, this just pisses me off, man. It just does because like, I feel like I wasted my time. You know, I had other people I needed to link up with while already in Vegas. And I, you know, it's just a bunch of bullshit, man. Uh Oh, did somebody hit somebody on a scooter? Yep. Wow. Pickup truck hit somebody on a scooter. Well, luckily he's standing up. So it looks like he's all right. Ouch. Listen, man, they'll be driving around Vietnam out here thinking shit sweet people drive like crazy out here man especially on skybo man mm. anyways i'm gonna go ahead and get out of here hopefully you guys have a wonderful day i got some stuff i got to get done on the bmw today so there'll probably be an update video coming for you guys on that hopefully you guys enjoyed the video if you did give it a big thumbs up if you still want me to bid on this car let me know give it a big thumbs up but i think i'm out i'm gonna be honest i think i'm done I think I'm done. I, I put in the effort, man. I did the. I did what I think is right. You know, I, I gave it enough time and effort when I should have just let it go in the first place. And they just did this Mickey Mouse shit. So it is what it is. Let me know what you guys think in the comment section down below. I truly appreciate y'all watching, man. And uh, I'll see you guys on the next one. Perfect.